masculine recently. You talked of a valuable state of heightened perception uh, being induced by, by drugs, by proper drugs. Do you think imaginative writers will benefit by that? Well, I think the people who would benefit most of all are professors. Uh, this, uh, I think it would be extremely good for almost anybody with uh, fixed ideas and with, uh, with a great certainty about what's what to take this thing and to realize that the world he has constructed is by no means the only world, that there are these extraordinary other types of universe which we may inhabit and which we should be very grateful for inhabiting, I think. Not everyone shared Huxley's enthusiasm. The British writer Arthur Kessler responded in an essay with a parable. He likened consumers of psychedelic drugs with those who drive to the top of a mountain instead of climbing it step by step. The view, he concluded, may be identical, but the vision of the climber is different from that of the motorist. Such criticisms, however, only encouraged interest in Huxley's account of his masculine experiment, and others began to follow in his footsteps. Well, um, here I am in my home, and before I take the drug, Dr. Osmond's got uh, one or two quite unrehearsed questions. I have no idea what they are to put to me. Right, Christopher, carry on. Could you tell me the date today, please? The date? Yes. Uh, it was Friday, the um, 2nd of December. In right? 1955, I wanted to relate this sentence. MC, 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 MC,
It's a new dawn, it's a new day It's a new life for me, yeah It's a new dawn, it's a new day It's a new life for me
comes and goes Who knows Who Thank you. 